guys and welcome to my channel um so i was on spring break last week and my mom let me visit a few stores to see if i could find anything which was so exciting um so the following few clips is gonna be the visiting the stores and things that i find i hope you enjoy and at the end of it i'll show you guys my haul So as I stated earlier, the first stop was CVS where I passed by their cream shop and I saw all of the makeup palettes that they had, which I was so happy to see were up to date, especially with all the TikToks I've been seeing. I was so happy to see the lip glosses or the lip oils. The Pom Pom Purin palette was my absolute favorite. Oh my god, I was so upset that I couldn't get him, but hopefully next time I can. I'm such a neutral color girl when it comes to my makeup, which I thought was so perfect for that palette. So after looking at all the makeup, I decided to go check out the Easter stuff where unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything, but I'm a big Bluey fan so I was so happy to see that they had a few little you know, a few little toys and stuff for the fandom, which is super cute. I did, however, find the Easter candy egg thing, which I was so happy about. My next stop was a Marshalls by my house. It wasn't really by my house, it was like 30 minutes away, but so worth it because they had so many things. They, I hadn't seen the cinnamon roll lotion before, um, but I did manage to get it later on at another location. And then I have that mirror. Maybe one day I'll do um, a little room tour for you guys. But I was so happy to see the new Impressions Vanity, you know, mirrors and stuff, which is so cute. I really wanted to get the pink one, but I got the original white and red one, which is so cute to me. I then found this little makeup box, but then I saw the price. And I was like, I'm not even that big of a fan of prints. And then I found more mirrors, which were so cute and small. I found the little Twin Stars um, nail files, which are so cute. I wanted to get them, but I already had some from last time I came to the store. I decided to pass by the PJ section, mostly because I've been finding some cute stuff there recently. And I did find this cute PJ set, but it was a medium, so I decided to leave it. And then I went to the kitchen supplies area to see if they had anything but I did find this cute little birthday cake candle type of mug which is so cute and as I was looking up I saw this little tumbler thing and I was like oh my gosh so cute but I'm not that big of a fan of metal supplies which was like unfortunately not it for me and then I saw that they had little plates on the other side I went to the kids section because me and my mom have been collecting stuff for my younger cousin um, and then I found these cute little bags. We got her one a few weeks ago. Um, I posted about it on my Instagram, link down below by the way. Um, and then I went to the checkout section just to, for, you know, just to look at it. And I saw this cute little pencil pouch and right behind it was notebooks. And they were so freaking cute, oh my God. But I didn't need any notebooks at the moment, so I'd left them. <laughs> um, and then, as I was looking down below, I saw that they had some gift bags, which were super cute. Oh my god. I decided to do a little wrap around the store again and went back to the beauty aisle. And I found this cute Kuropi detangler brush, which is so freaking cute. I already have the My Melody one and the Hello Kitty ones from Costco, so I decided to leave him. But $6.99 is not that bad because of the brand it is. It's so cute though. And then as I was doing another wraparound, I saw this beautiful set. Oh my gosh. And I was like, you're lucky you're cute. Oh my god. And then I found these hidden brushes, which were so cute. But I'm not that big of a fan of the color white. Mostly because I feel like it stains easily. And then I found this My Melody lotion that matches the cinnamon roll hand lotion that I saw earlier. Which is super cute, but I'm not that fan of 
watermelon smells and then i found these little guys at the bottom someone was probably just leaving them there for later and they were so cute but i already have that set 6.99 each oh my gosh so cute and then i went to the sports aisle where i found another tumbler which was super cute but the straw was missing so i was like mm, maybe not um and so after that i did another wrap around before heading to checkout and then i found the cups oh my gosh so cute so for my next stop i chose a tj maxx that was a little ways past the marshalls that i went to and they had their mirrors locked up which is so understandable after i found so many empty boxes of the impressions vanity mirrors and then i found the cutest little bath bombs and then i found the strawberry bath bomb slash exfoliator set which i already had and then i went to the beauty section and i saw that they had more little twin stars which i was so happy about and then right behind there was like the facials and stuff and they had the nose strips the under eyes and the my melody sheet mask which is so cute and then i found the sleeping mask that i already had overall everything was so cute but then i found the soap dispenser now me personally i'm not that big of a fan of hot pink so i was like meh but then i found the head soap dispenser right next to it and i was like okay it's kind of cute and then right behind that was the mug aisle and i was like <gasps> dude the, the gas that i let out when i saw the summertime one and the full body one i was like there's no way it was cute but i did leave them because i have way too many mugs maybe one day i'll give you guys a mug tour and then right behind there, I found my Melody mug, and I was like, so cute, but it was so small, and I didn't know how to drink out of it. And then I also found the rainbow slash star tumbler behind there, and then a little ways past it was more Hello Kitty cups, and I finally found the napkins, but I'm not that really big fan of those. And then I found, guys, I found two Hello Kitty vanity chairs, plus I found the little heart stool, which was so freaking cute. But I ultimately decided to leave it. You guys, the gasp that I let out and the way that I ran when I saw these blankets and the soap dispensers right next to it, I was literally just looking at these on TikTok. My next stop was my home goods. I was a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. But as soon as I walked in, I saw the Hello Kitty planter. I decided to leave them, mostly because it wasn't really what I was expecting. And then right above it were the cutest mugs ever for Valentine's Day, but it already passed, so I left them. And then I noticed more mugs, which were super freaking cute, like the colors, the patterns, all of it, the little heart bit that you grab with your hand. And then I did a wraparound, and I saw that they had so many ramen bowls. And I saw that they had Care Bear mugs, which reminded me of my best friend. They had the espresso mugs, and then they had the zodiac sign one that I already have, but this one's more like holographic. And then I saw that they had this pencil case, and it reminded me of my mom, mostly because of the gold. And then I turned around, and there was a red one too, and I was like, that's cute. And then I saw that they had another one right there, and right behind it were the pink ones, and I'm like, wow. And then, you guys, I finally found the ramekins, but I have no idea how to use them, especially since they're so small. So I laughed a little bit and I left them. And then I found the Hello Kitty blanket hoodie for kids, which was super freaking cute. And then my mom found the cookie jars. I call them cookie jars because me personally, I would put cookies in there. And then I found the smell thingies. I don't know what they're called. But they had so many, like, I wanted to get them, but me and my mom were sensitive to smells. And then as I was walking past them, I noticed the cinnamon roll, and I hadn't seen the cinnamon roll one on TikTok lately. And I was like, wow. And then you guys, my look today is insane. I found two more Impressions vanity chairs of a different kind, and I was like, <gasps> I decided to finish off strong and go to Ross and as soon as I walk in, so lucky, well I don't know if you would consider it lucky, but I found my melody socks and then I went to the girls section to see if they had any clothes and they did but me personally you guys, I don't really like these clothes, I feel like they're way too simple, way too easy and then I found this, 
this I really wanted to take, but I'm not that big of a fan of white sweatshirts, mostly because they do become see-through sometimes. And then I saw that they had earrings, and they were the only set there. And then I saw that they had candy, and the chocolate cookies, and then rice crackers. But I don't want to get them because I know I'm not going to eat them. And then I went to the car section, and you guys, I found a steering wheel cover. And then I found seat covers, but they did only bring two seats. So I was like, mm, maybe not because it cost like $27. And then I found ramen and I was like, yummy. Mm, so exciting. Okay, so to start the video off, this is not everything, obviously. But I decided to put most of the haul in. Ta-da! The gift bag from Marshalls which I got for a whopping three three forty nine. So in the bag and in the haul I am including some stuff from a few days ago which I did not record. Um so a bit of a heads up if you're like wait that wasn't in the video. But okay, so to start things off I managed to find this um, so I saw this on TikTok a few times and I saw so many people going crazy over it but it's like you put juice or water in here and then you can just pour it in the cup I thought it was so cute I think my dog's trying to come into the room so yeah I got this it was 17 I think my mom got me it um, so I got that and then I had to get the cups. I had to get them. My, <laughs> I'm making my dad use them for coffee for work. And he, he's not a big fan of pink, but I make him use it. And then I did get the My Melody socks. I got them for 99 cents at Ross because these were the only ones. Um, someone probably took the rest of them. I don't know who else was supposed to be included, but... And then I did get the pencil pouch. I got the pencil pouch and it matches with the cup and they match with the gift bag and it's, it's perfect. Plus I needed a new pencil pouch because my old one has been with me since high school. Okay, I want to save the best for last, so I'm not going to take out the last thing from the bottle. From the bottle, from the bag. My bad. I got the steering wheel cover the steering wheel cover i got it obviously i can't put it on the car just yet because i don't know how me and my mom don't know how to get rid of the jeep one that we already have on the car so first we're gonna figure that out and then we're putting this bad boy on there okay and so i did also get my dog another bowl this one's from a few days ago as well it wasn't in the video or maybe it was Yes, it was. Maybe. But it was there. So I got it for him. He loves eating out of those because he knows they mean food. So <sighs> this one's one of my favorites. Cause you probably just saw it, maybe. But my mom got it for me as a surprise, and I love it. Impressions Vanity Hello Kitty makeup brushes with the cover thingy. And look at her. She's so cute. I love this one because of the brushes. Look. Oh my god. And it's pink. I don't know if you've noticed, but I like pink. <laughs> pink is my favorite thing in the world. One of my favorite things in the world. I love it. It's so pretty. And now for the masterpiece. The piece of resistance. Resistance? The main course of the meal. I got it. I got the blanket. It's so soft, you guys. Oh my god, I was so lucky to find these. I'm saying these because I got two. One for me and one for my best friend. Shout out to Pookie. 
Shout out to my bestie. I love her. I convinced her to get one. So, now we're matching. And now, to show you guys what it looks like. Just kidding. I love this blanket so much. It was the first Hello Kitty blanket I ever found. I would never leave it on the floor like that. So for now, I'm leaving it on my chair. Now for you. So, so pretty. Mm, so soft and comfy. Sorry. <laughs> it's a really nice blanket, you guys. Honestly, this was definitely, I was not expecting to find this. I was not expecting to get it either. But I love it and I'm so happy that I found it because I've seen it all over my TikTok, all over my Instagram, and I'm like, you guys are so lucky for finding it. Could never be me. But I got it and I found it. And so did my pookie, my bestie. <sighs> yeah, so that was my haul, you guys. Um, overall, 10 out of 10 haul. Okay. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and thank you if you stayed all the way to the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and leave your comments down below on if you liked the video, what would you do differently, what would you have gotten out of everything in the whole video, and from what store, obviously, because I need to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Hopefully I can see you again soon. Bye! Bye! Huh?